Hey guys, where have you been? Are you ever going to finish this plane? Dude, are you okay? Etc. These are all the questions I keep getting and I really appreciate you guys asking. It tells me you guys are concerned and that you care. Um, I'm fine. Yeah, I'm going to finish the plane. And I've been on vacation. <laughs> so let's talk about that. So my wife and I, um, we've been together since 2003. And in 2009, we took our first big vacation. We, we took a cruise. And uh, that was kind of our honeymoon slash well-deserved vacation. Well, here it is, 2021. And we've not had a vacation since 2009. Mm, excuse me. So we went on vacation again. Um, the thing with vacation, so first of all, we went to Roatan, Honduras, and it was awesome. We had a lot of fun. Uh, it was, of course, you know, tropical island destination, super hot, but enjoyable. I got attacked by a monkey, which I'll link video to that, and uh, just other fun stuff while we were down there. Very beautiful snorkeling. It's a, it's a scuba diver's haven. Like, if you, if you really want to scuba dive, if you're a big scuba diver, go to Roatan. It's amazing. So anyways, <clears throat> that's what we did, and... I gave, gave myself two weeks after that to kind of, um, you know, make sure I didn't have anything. Uh, in the event that I was sick, I didn't want to get anyone else sick. So we, we, I did intentionally, even though I'm typically out here by myself, people come by all the time. I mean, today I'm out here recording this and I, it took me a good 45 minutes to an hour to actually get into the hangar because there were two different people that I met just on the way to the hangar who sat and, you know, chatted me up for a while. Uh, everyone's super friendly, and the last thing I want to do is get them sick. So, had all my tests. I'm clean. Everything's good. I'm finally ready to get back out here and start working. Well, y'all, I ain't got no idea where that dang old accent came from. Now, if you don't mind me and my sister wife, we're going to go get some grits. <laughs> uh. I'm an idiot. <laughs> yeah, I don't know where it came from. I'm not sure what uh, what that was about. Sometimes it just comes out. All right, so while we're getting to that, uh, I, one of the things I was waiting to get it was the airflow auxiliary pump system that goes down in the bottom of the center fuselage. And uh, I finally did order and receive that. And yeah, like everyone had told me, it's completely different than what's in the plans. So I need to figure out what changed and, and how I'm supposed to actually rig it up now. Um, I'm, not, I'm not sure what's going on. There's actually like one less input. But here it is shipped to me and it was just full of paper and packed very well. And I really like their packing paper. I need a new gun. So one of the other things I've been waiting for is if you look down on the bottom of the plane right here, you can see this area right here. This is where you're going to be putting your airflow uh, pump, your uh, uh, air, the airflow filter, the <clears throat> various other things, depending on which uh, fuel system you're going to use. If you're going to have a carbureted engine versus a fuel injected system, you order different stuff. <coughs> I have decided to go ahead and buy the fuel injected system. I, I had originally thought about getting a carbureted system because it would be a lot cheaper in the long run, but you know what, if I'm going to do it, let's do it right. Let's get a fuel uh, injected system. So the fuel, ES fuel flow pump and filter and all the other stuff that goes down in here, which I am told is no longer the same as what it shows in the plans. I've kind of been waiting to get it. I've got, I've ordered it a while back now, so I'm waiting to hear from Vans. I, I need to call them probably tomorrow and see if you know, did it go through? Is this coming? <clears throat> but this is the point we are now working on the blood and guts of the plane, right? We're no longer working on structure other than the top, which is coming very soon. We're now working on actually putting in the arteries, if you will. So a lot of what we're doing at this point is we're running brake line and fuel line stuff, this aluminum line. And one of the questions I had on it was, first of all, bending it. Um, I got one of these bender uh, jobbies that'll let you do up to 180 degree bends beautifully. 
this was cheap. I recommend getting one of these. The bends it puts in are perfect. And if you don't use one of those, if you try to do it by hand, um, you'll kind of crimp a little. And I'll try to come up with an example of that. But the, the thing that I had a question about was, you know, when it comes to sealing the ends on this, so you've got, you've got these compression fits and you always have to make sure to put this stuff on and put it on correctly <clears throat> before you use your, your tool to flange it. But I had a question about whether or not there had to be some sealant or something between this and the nipple. And apparently the answer to that is no. Now, if you hear otherwise, or you know otherwise, please comment down below. But as I understand it, you don't need that. Uh, instead, you use some sort of gasket sealer type stuff around the threads of the nipple and, and this nut, and that's enough. And so that's what I'm gonna do. Again, please, if that's wrong, tell me. Um, gonna do that in all the, all the places, but I'm still waiting for those parts to make sure I can, you know, get everything moved. So some of the, the default measurements where you put stuff, you know, it, it'll say, oh, you know, you need a, a piece yay long, gives inches and whatnot to get from here to there. But that might change because as I understand it, that entire uh, mechanical area down there is changed with the parts they send you. So I'm kind of waiting to get those parts before I continue. And so to, <clears throat> because of that, uh, I've been working on, you know, rudder pedals and uh, other stuff. Um, these, these came out nice. I mean, so working on that while I have something else to work on while I wait for those parts. Um, I am a little nervous about running the brake line and the fuel line. Like I want to be able to run them, get them all in and then pressure test them to make sure, like I, I don't know what the process for pressure testing is. I need to learn, figure that out and make sure that I do it correctly. Because the last thing you want is a leak, you know. Uh, we want to make sure that's correct. So, but that's what we're waiting on there. And uh, working with this line, I thought it was gonna be a pain in the ass. It's not. The one thing I have learned is um, don't over tighten. Apparently if you over tighten, you can actually split the aluminum and well, that's bad. So I think that's where, you know, this kind of stuff comes in to kind of give the seal at the threads and maybe, you know, at the, at this end of it as well to, to stop any leaks if they happen. But in theory, if you put it on correctly, uh, if you screw it on correctly to the right tightness, you won't have any leaks. So that's where I'm at. I'm working on getting all that stuff, waiting for that part so that I can, you know, make sure all my lengths of, of tubing is correct. And so in the meantime, we're working on rudder pedals. Well, all right, there we go. So I've got my rudder pedals um, all completed and ready to go. Uh, you can see here that it's a little goopy where I've put this gasket sealing stuff on there. And this is the stuff that someone told me I should use this form of gasket sealant stuff, slow drying, hardening, whatever. I've never used this before, so I don't know if this is the right stuff or not. This is what I was told to use. It's what I have used. And I'm gonna let this dry a little bit and then I'll wipe it all off because it's in the threads and everything too. And then maybe apply a real fine amount of it around just to kind of help with the final sealing. So kind of a pain to put all these in. Um, read the instructions, make sure you do it right. There are six brass ones that go in six of the holes but there are eight holes. And so you have to make sure that you have the aluminum ones on the right place. So yeah, uh, now it's just a matter of going through and mounting these in the aircraft. So good times. I, I think it came out pretty well. I'm, I'm, I'm actually happy with how they came out. So uh, I could have gotten, there are a lot of aftermarket rudder, pe rudder pedals that uh, people use and This aircraft sounds like it's struggling. He's been flying around the pattern all day. Anyways, um, <clears throat> there are aftermarket rudder pedals that I thought about getting, but then I just, you know what? I'm just gonna use these. There's nothing wrong with these. Why pay a bunch of extra money to get aftermarkets so that the rudder pedals look nice without really adding a lot to the plane uh, and it's an extra cost and slows down and you know, I wanna finish this thing. So I'm just gonna use what I got. So. All right, now let's, uh, let's work on getting these suckers mounted up.
All right, guys, that's it. That's where I'm going to end this one. Um, so I know it's been a long time. There's a lot still going on. The, I'm trying to get to these videos as much as, as possible. Honestly, though, I'm trying to come out and just do the work on the plane, especially with what I'm doing. A lot of this guts, you know, the, the inner workings of the plane. I find that more challenging personally, uh, the, you know, working on the the shell of the plane and, and, and the, you know, just the aluminum stuff is for me really easy putting in the, you know, running the lines and, you know, making sure that everything syncs up without no leaking and whatnot in the future. That's a little more nerve wracking to me. I'm a little more concerned about that. I think I'll be fine, but it's just, it's one of those things where I, 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 I want to make sure I get it right. So uh, video wise, I will try to produce more videos, but it's nowhere near a priority compared to actually doing the work correctly. And I know you understand that. So that's that. I'm working on that. And then of course, with my big vacation, which was awesome. Uh, not, uh, <laughs> that was a well needed vacation. If you click down below, uh, there's a link down there and uh, I'll send you to my monkey video where I get attacked by a monkey or I have three monkeys actually. They kept jumping on me. It was kind of funny. And uh, yeah, so good times. And, and I think if I remember to do it, I'll also post this 360 uh, zip lining videos. I just have to remember to do that. So anyways, guys, if you like what I'm doing on this channel, get a like and subscribe. I really appreciate you. I, I think I said I wasn't going to do that anymore. Uh, and of course, if you want to really help me jump over to my Patreon page and for a dollar a month, you guys can subscribe and help. Really appreciate you. More's coming soon. Soon it's going to be up to this top. Got to get this top on. Looking forward to doing that. Not looking forward to doing that. And then uh, I'm also in the works of trying to figure out how I'm going to get my engine. Uh, so I am going to be getting an IO540 and I'm looking at a number of different providers as well as other options to see. I'm going to try to figure it out because uh, that's expensive. So with that, oh, and finally my uh, Piper. You guys asked me about my Cherokee. Uh, I finally got the registration back. The registration took forever. I like, I sent it off in May and I literally got it back like two days ago. And so I don't know why it took so long to get the registration back. Um, but got it back. So going to go and, uh, fly that. I've already got my CFI who's going to bring his mechanic out and go over it because he's never flown before. So he just wants to make sure it's good to go. It'll be fine. And yeah, I've got a bunch of other people on the, the on the, on the airport. that are like, let's go. And I'm like, okay, let's go. So <laughs> anyways, hopefully stay tuned. We'll see some videos on that soon too. So Take care, guys. See you next time. And finally, uh, before we get on to the Grand Monkey Show, you'll know what I'm talking about in a second. Um, I got to tell you, guys, if you are big divers or even just, just snorkelers and you enjoy that salt life thing, uh, the Grand Roatan area is amazing. Uh, we had a really great time. We went out there with our snorkels and, and stayed relatively shallow, but there was, you know, it's the second largest barrier reef, uh, apparently in the world. And, uh, it was great. It was, it was just beautiful. I cannot say enough good things. Um, go, we went slightly during the off season, uh, so it wasn't super busy, but it was awesome just floating out there and seeing the sights and it was beautiful and fun and uh, refreshing. I think that was the biggest thing. So anyways, I wanted to give you guys some footage of the underwater life, although my camera skills here suck. This is not something I've had to do much of. Uh, and, and like I said, this is, it's shallow. Like it, it goes way out. Um, and you can see everything. There's so many fish to see, and I did a very poor job of seeing them all and getting them on camera, but it was cool. It's a really great thing. So if you if you like that sort of thing, if you like the salt life, I highly recommend it. So anyways, with that, after you see all the fishies, let me show you my new monkey friends. And then that's it. See you guys. <laughs> Can I take my hat? <laughs> well, hi. Who you are? Don't cry, okay? Uh, he, she named it Yina. Hi, Yina. Oh, thank you. Oh, you give me little licks. Thank you. I'm sweating, and that's what that's about. <laughs> 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 I've been assaulted by monkeys. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you're gonna uh, you're gonna fall. <laughs> hmm.
<laughs> uh, they're take yours. Don't take my stuff. <laughs> they're trained to steal. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> that hurt, little guy. Hi. There we go. Here you are. No. I like a cat. Yeah, except he's down my shirt. <laughs> well, maybe. <laughs> he's gonna come jump back on. Yeah, probably. Make that leap. Okay. You ready? Whew. Yeah. I'm gonna check my pockets before we leave. <laughs>